Welcome back. Mystery and intrigue are swirling around the death of Pakistan's cricket coach Bob Woolmer. Jamaican police have confirmed he was strangled. They say he almost certainly knew his killer. Or killers. He was killed in his hotel room in Jamaica just hours after his team had suffered a humiliating defeat against Ireland in the Cricket World Cup. There is speculation he was going to blow the lid on corruption and match fixing in the sport. Neil Roberts has the latest on the murder mystery. It's a human tragedy, a deepening mystery, and a worldwide shock. First, Bob Woolmer's sudden death, now the confirmation that he was murdered. Mr. Woolmer's death was due to asphyxia as a result of manual strangulation. In these circumstances, the matter of Mr. Woolmer's death is now being treated by the Jamaica police as a case of murder. Detectives have been studying CCTV footage to see who might have got into Bob Woolmer's hotel room. One theory is that there may have been more than one killer. It would have taken some significant force uh, in which to subdue him and cause strangulation. But of course we do not know at this stage how many people were in the room. Team officials and players have now been fingerprinted, while back in Pakistan news that Bob Woolmer was murdered has stunned a cricket-loving nation. There have been vigils for a man the Pakistanis took to their hearts, and there are some reports he may have unearthed some evidence of match-fixing. Corruption allegations in cricket are not uncommon. Australians Shane Warne and Mark Waugh were fined for providing pitch information to a bookmaker. There was a match-fixing scandal in Pakistan and a life ban for former captain Salim Malik. Then India's one-time captain Mohammad Azaruddin was banned for contact with illegal betting syndicates. In 2002, the former South Africa captain Hansi Kronje was killed in a plane crash, two years after admitting taking bribes while Bob Woolmer was coaching the team. Words cannot begin to describe the shame, humiliation and pain which I feel. And just two months ago, Indian police began investigating allegations against West Indies batsman Marlon Samuels. Uh, we have a very well developed sense of self-preservation, so if we spot anything that we think is not quite right, uh, we can very quickly do something about it. But of course, in this particular instance, uh, one hopes that match fixing turns out not to be at all associated with the tragic events that have gone on. There's no suggestion of any wrongdoing by Bob Woolmer, but his death came hours after Pakistan's shock defeat to Ireland. And that's why cricket corruption has become one line of inquiry. Neil Roberts, ITV News. And our correspondent, John Irvine, joins us on the phone from Kingston now. Uh, John, what is the latest there as a fascinating day lies ahead? Yes, the Jamaican police may, be now, may now be involved in a full-scale murder investigation, but today they remain absolutely baffled as to the motive for this murder and as to who may have been responsible. Now, they have ruled out theft completely. There was nothing taken from Mr. Woolmer's hotel room, and crucially, his laptop wasn't touched. There had been speculation that if he was going to be a, a whistleblower on match fixing, then something would have been on that laptop. But as I say, the laptop wasn't taken. In the meantime, the cricket authorities here are trying to put their best foot forward. I interviewed the man in the eye of the storm, ICC, chairman Malcolm Speed this morning and he agreed with me that this was probably the worst crisis that cricket has ever faced. Re-corruption, he is extremely worried about the corruption issue and he said he fully expected that Paul Condon, now Lord Condon, would uh, come to Jamaica at some stage to look at the match fixing issue. Uh, whether that is the ICC being seen to do the right thing or whether they seriously believe corruption is the motive, uh, we just don't know at this stage. And John, it really is one of those literally intriguing mysteries, the entire Pakistan squad being interviewed, mystery pills found in the room, the police saying he knew his killer or killers, absolutely mysterious. Yes, uh, he was discovered at 10.45 on a sleepy Sunday morning. Uh, we know that his last known communication with the outside world had been an email he'd sent to his wife at about 3 o'clock on Sunday morning. But the police think he probably knew his uh, killers. I'm staying in the same hotel. Mr. Woolmer's room was on the 12th floor. You need a hotel key card to use the lifts to get to the 12th floor, uh, it is intriguing. And I think there is a firm belief here that at the back of this all, money is probably the issue. John, thanks very much.